So often people confuse being lactose intolerant with being, say, lactose sensitive or even allergic to milk. And so if you, for example, are able to drink a glass of milk and you take a couple of sips and immediately your stomach starts to rumble and you are running to the bathroom, you know, you might be sensitive to that item. However, you know that, say, milk upsets your stomach, but when you try something like yogurt and your symptoms are okay, that typically means that you may not necessarily be lactose intolerant, but lactose sensitive. I always say that with the sensitivity, you can tolerate one type of dairy food, but not another. So I've heard funny stories about people that absolutely love to have ice cream and they eat ice cream by the gallons and then they drink a glass of milk and, you know, they get an upset stomach. So again, that's a really good example of a sensitivity versus an actual true lactose intolerance diagnosis. And, you know, for people that actually do get a diagnosis from their physician, for example, where there's one test called a hydrogen breath test, they still don't have to leave the dairy family at all because if they're able to take those enzymes, the pill before you eat dairy food um, or you're looking at having lactose-free milk, again, cheeses that are harder, yogurts with live and active enzymes, you can still have a wide array of foods and never feel like you're being denied. An allergy is going to be an immune response to a food, so it can be very scary. We know, again, that with anaphylaxis, any type of food allergy, we know how severe that can be. And so it is really important that if you have an upset stomach, if you've tried to take foods out of your diet and reintroduce different foods and you're still finding that you're not having a resolution, then that would be a really good time to consult your physician or consult a registered dietitian to be able to make that determination and make that diagnosis appropriately. Something like Greek yogurt has live and active cultures if you are lactose sensitive or lactose intolerant. And Greek yogurt also is packed with protein. Two thirds of a cup has a whopping 18 grams of protein on average per serving. So when you're mixing foods and you're mixing plants and dairy, they really are a wonderful way you still get your dairy in, regardless of whether you're lactose intolerant or not. Mm -hmm.